Hi again. Now we will explain about U-test. We will go in a deep flow in the U-test. U-test is a platform or a portal or a website that hire testers for clients. So clients go to U-test. They provide U-test with needed tester skills, needed environment to test their application. Then U-test select from its database. It has a database for all uh, registered testers with all their environment and all their skills. You just create a cycle. This cycle has a detailed info about the application under test. Then it invites the testers, send them a mail, invitation mail. You get the mail, you check the cycle details, the environment needed. If you still have the environment, if you still can test, you accept. Otherwise, you decline. When you decline, you cannot see anything in the cycle. It will be removed from your interface. When you accept, you can check and download the application if it's downloadable or test its web application. You can see other users' defects and you can enter new defects. They allow you to see other users' defects so you don't write a duplicate defect. It has some predefined uh, courses and also you can create your own course and send it to them and if it's good, they will publish it. So they have courses for a lot of topics. I recommend you to check it. So this is an introduction for security testing. Learn about bug reports and high valuable bugs. They even teach you how to find bugs and what's uh, the valuable bugs that you will get paid uh, for. And they have forums also. In those forums, they announce new project or new upcoming project. And if you are interested in this, your test has a lot of testers, but sometimes they need for a specific cycle, uh, let's say uh, the latest uh, iPhone 6. And me, for example, I purchased the latest iPhone 6, but I didn't register it in your test. So they announce in the forum, if anyone have iPhone 6, please add it to your profile and submit this form. So they count on you and they send you the invitation for the cycle. So keep following forums for upcoming projects. Also in the forums, you can introduce yourself, you can interact with the community. It's very helpful community and very professional. Here in the forum, there is a chat, they interact with each other. If you are new to U-Test, press here. Here they have something called code of ethics or code of conduct. What you should do, what you shouldn't do, how to interact with the client, what questions that you should never ask a client, like when you will approve my defect, for example. You shouldn't speak about payment rate to customers. You will find all it here. There is the paid projects discussion. They have a lot of forums. Uh, they are teaching security testing here. They are teaching usability, the load and performance. They are teaching automation, localization, tester recognition for the most valuable tester uh, for the month, for example. Statistics about you test, total members, 38,000. So go through the forums, very helpful. The forums and the courses, very helpful for you. Project board. They here announce the upcoming projects. So they are urgently recruiting uh, for usability study worldwide. Worldwide means uh, anyone means anyone in the world can apply for this cycle. There is some cycles that are uh, specific for, uh, for example, for Middle East, the Arabic based uh, projects. Uh, there is another cycle specific for USA if it's client only interested in USA testers. There is a PC games here. Uh, they must have Samsung TV, so this environment must be available to you. This is another test for US only. Localization test, this is worldwide. So they have a lot of cycles here. Okay, now let's create a new account. Let's try to join. So we are registering new tester now. You write your first name, your last name, your email, your password, confirm password, your country. Be honest here for everything. Your postal code, you choose an image for you. You write a little about yourself. So when you fill this, you are asked to confirm your email. So you have to confirm your email to activate your profile. Now you have confirmed your email, you can log in now. So let's check the first login and how can you configure your profile. So let's log in your email and your password. This is your first login. You press activity, you should have no activity now. 
my profile. Yeah, my profile is profile that will be available for pub for public if you if you allow this. Let's check leaderboard. So here is the test managers, leaders, some testers, this is some statistics. What you really need to do once you log in is you go to your test platform. Your test platform is the platform that you will be interacting with 99% of your time on your test. When you get invitation for a cycle, you go accept it from your test platform. Yeah, here it's asking me about what is my project preferences, what project that I like to work in. Starting, you will just check functional, unless you have an experience in the other fields as we discussed. So mainly we are doing functional testing, black box testing, exploratory testing. The application types. I think you can check all of this desktop, uh, gaming console if you have mobile. Of course, what will what will they send you? Is the application that matches your platform. And we will check how to add our our platform. So, do you need bug fix verification? Bug fix verification. Bug fix verification are some cycles that its application already tested before, and there is some defects found on it. So, when the client fix those defects, they ask you test to check and confirm that those defects are fixed. So, in bug fix verification, you get defects and you get to recheck that those defects are not appearing anymore so what we what you will check is the defects that were found in another cycle in a previous cycle most likely those defects will be extracted from your test itself i recommend that you agree to the bug fix verification let's continue here you will explain more about your testing experience so are you expert in functional, manual functional testing, test case execution, test case writing, this is a exploratory test case, ABI testing, We this is more advanced, I didn't see any ABI testing, uh, functional ABI, ABI testing on EU test. So you just, if you are new to testing, you are just here. Whatever language you have, you select it here. So mainly why here we see only functional because in the project preferences we selected only functional. If we are, if we selected their security, we will see security details here and our rate in there. Here we should add more details about the environment. So web and desktop, those are categories, web and desktop, mobile and tablet, smart TV and other, we have the gaming here also. So if you have Windows 7, so you are selecting the operating system, let's say Windows. The version is Windows 7. If it's 64 bit, you select this. Operating system language, let's say Arabic. Firewall, if you have firewall installed, it's brand. Antivirus, if you have antivirus and spyware. So you are selecting all the environment you have with its all details. Your browsers, Chrome, let's say exam, Firefox. Your accessories, do you have microphone, do you have a headset, do you have speakers, webcam? Of course, more you have, you will get more cycles. I had, for example, a cycle that no one should test unless he, he have webcam. So you press finish. Okay, now I have this Windows 7. If I have another operating system, if I access to another operating system, I should add it will be added beneath it here mobiles let's say I have iPhone uh, 6 so I have Apple phone you should get the UUID it's a number a unique number for every iPhone if you don't know how to get it you can get it easily from iTunes here it's telling you also how to get it. How do I find the UID, launch iTunes and do blah, blah, blah. So you get it from here. You select the model.
So it's iPhone 6. It will ask you about the operating system, the version of the iOS. I have the latest. The wireless carrier, your carrier. Yeah, it shows that I am from Egypt, so it gave me all the possibilities in Egypt. These are only the operators in Egypt. So let's say this. And I should finish, of course, it might not finish because of this. Anyway, that's how to add a mobile and tablet. Also, smart TV or uh, games or anything else, you can add it here. So, the final status here is that you added a new tester, a new test database, and this tester has access to those environments. So, you are mainly telling you test if any cycle need a tester with access to those environments, count me in. Of course, we should also follow up with the forums and the projects and you need to update your profile with your latest environment let's say if you had a laptop and it crashed for example and you don't have access to that windows 7 anymore you should delete it be professional now we will go to my account my real account to see some cycles and some defects and to see how to interact with you test the platform in a real account and we will see also the payments and some uh, settings for a minute. I will log out from this and log in with my account. So this is your dashboard. Any invitation uh, for cycle you get, it will be showed to your dashboard. You select the cycle to view its details. It will have an overview telling you what's in scope, an overview of the system under test what environments needed also they will have section about out of scope you must read all this overview in a very detailed way then you get the option to decline or agree on those details if you declined you will not see the cycle again if you agreed so you have to participate participate in testing executing test case if it's there also, you have to note that not all the cycle have test case. So you have to participate and, and try to find defects. Again, read the overview very carefully. If you accepted the cycle, it will appear in test cycles view. Okay, I will decline this. When you decline, you have to submit a reason. Okay, now I will open any cycle that I have. I will not show you any details about any cycle or any issue because that's not right because this is a client info I will just I will just show you what you test have common for all cycles I will try to create a new defect so here you enter the issue or defect title the environments you used action performance so these are your steps your defect steps expected result and actual result any error message you received it's not mandatory also you have to set a frequency for the defect if it's happening every time or uh, just you saw it one time or it's happening occasionally so it's random or you just saw it once but you have an evidence for it so you have a snapshot for example or a video for example using Jing also for example and what's the priority for this defect they have also a definition a definition for each priority if you just hover the mouse over it you will see it so for example if let's say you cannot purchase anything from the site so this is a critical defect you cannot, you cannot purchase any item here you also can add attachments and you press submit when you press submit your defect will be available for you for any editing and for any other user to see it and not add a duplicate defect also you can search in the defects issues the status is 
new tests are like new if you just add a new defect. Discard if you found that this defect is not a defect, you have uh, understood anything uh, incorrectly. So you can discard it, open it and click discard. And you have rejected. Rejected if the client rejected the defect. So uh, someone reviewed the defect and he found it's not in a scope, for example. So he can reject it. He is adding a reason with the rejection. After rejection, you can just accept this if he is right. Also, you can change the status to dispute. So dispute means that you have an objection to his judgment. And you can write whatever you think might change his mind. And there is under review. After you make it new, they can make the status under review before they reject it or approve it. And there is also bending. Bending means bending approval or bending uh, rejection. Most likely, it's the same as a status under review. Also, they have a status called info requested. So if you missed to attach uh, a file that they need, for example, or a log that they need, or if there is any info missing, they can add a message to the issue and change the status to info requested. And you should reply to this info requested and provide the requested info as soon as possible. Let's check some settings, account settings, for example. Let's say, let's say you are going for, for a vacation. For, you can say for you test, don't contact me in those days. And a lot of info about yourself and how the communication between you and you test are going. You can edit your testing experience here. The info we entered while creating the account, you can edit your experience here, your environments here. So the fun part, the payments, you can see all the payments you had here and the average payment per month. And also you can see the bending payments. Also, I will attach the paid project handbook. You have to read it very carefully and follow it. So that's all about you test, how to create an account, how to check the cycle, how to insert a new defect, how to know your bending payment, how to understand the different statuses for the issues. Once you create a new account in a week or so you will get an invitation for an unpaid cycle so this cycle is all about you test it's checking how you follow the instructions carefully it will give you a site and ask you to do some job on the site and will evaluate your work to know if you can find defects first and second if you follow instructions literally it's very important to follow instructions literally